welcome back to brunette confessions today i well this was supposed to be a, a vlog of my trip to north carolina a few weeks ago but but of course i did not talk in the damn videos all i did was grab the phone and go ee! so now i have to sit here and kind of break it down what i did on the trip and what the heck i'm doing in these videos and we're gonna cover me with like with the video because i don't know what's wrong with me anywho let's get started so i went on this trip september 20 something i want to say like 22nd it was a brand partnership with Allegiant air they reached out to me and if i was interested in uh, taking this trip and going to a country concert to see zach brown i was like heck yes better than being at my house doing nothing so we got to work did everything we needed to do and and yep, I went on this trip and it was really fun. It was actually my first country concert that I've ever been to. So it was, it was, it was something. It was shocking because it was freaking full. I think that's the fullest concert I've ever been. And like, there's just so many people. And like, I think back like, yeah, I've been, I've been to Ultra and there's a lot of people, but this was like a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And I haven't been around that many people in a long time. So it's just a lot to take in. But we're going to start from the top before we start talking concert all right so we got there on a friday and north carolina it was charlotte i don't think i've mentioned that in the beginning but it was north carolina charlotte it's it's a really cute city i think there's just so much to do the the problem is knowing and like finding out where are the good spots because yes i watch like countless of videos and like read countless vlogs of like where to go what's recommended to eat best rooftop bars but you know the locals are the ones that actually know the best spots i went practically by things that i was seeing like youtube videos and just information i was gathering from online sources but if i were to go again or go to like a new city i am definitely going to put my hinge account in the new city and just like spark up conversations with strangers and be like hey what's a cool spot where should i go i think that's like what i'm gonna start doing from now on i think that's gonna be really really helpful i'll let you guys know how that goes but anyways i thought about this at the end of the damn trip so too late but anyways the places we went to were pretty freaking good it did not disappoint so on friday we got there and then we went on we checked into our hotel or whatever they paid the company paid for a car for us so that was good to move around because we were you know it adds up at the end of the day um so we were as we were we stayed at the marriott and we were right in the middle of downtown area uh so through the streets there's so many like those little scooters that you like you know you get with your phone with the app and you take it for a ride whatever there are so many of those i've never ridden this shit in my life but it was a freaking blast like you could have left me scooting scooting around the whole city and i would have had a blast and that's basically what we did for a time um to kind of explore that's the best way to explore in the car you're not gonna explore so in these scooters or walking the best way to do so but before i continue let me tell you guys how freaking the weather app told me it was like 80 freaking degrees so i packed like a summer stuff i get there it was in the 60s it was cold it was like a slap in the face so i was not very well prepared when it came to a wardrobe but i made it work luckily i did have a little flannel and like a jacket with me so i survived we're good so then after exploring the city we went to um i think it's called i forgot what the park is called but i'll tell you right now so we went to a park that's right smack in the middle of the downtown area. It was called Romare Park, Romary Park. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's really pretty because it's like right in the middle of the city. So you have all this green space, but you have like all these beautiful buildings around you. So it was pretty neat. And then we actually had brunch at Haberdish or Haberdish, however you pronounce it. Those were the best freaking chicken and waffles I've had in my life. When I've eaten them here in Miami, they're like, it's too greasy and like, it tastes like 
fried like fried chicken like it doesn't have flavor it just tastes like freaking grease when i eat it here but over there <sighs> you know a southern nothing like a southern chicken waffle honestly that it hit the freaking spot it was the best thing ever and the honey it was just i don't know what the heck it was just delicious it was i feasted and then at night we went to dinner at fahrenheit it was really cool bar it's a rooftop bar the food was chef's kiss exquisite i'll put some videos and pictures here it was really good we had this like pokey nachos type of vibe and i forgot what else we had but it was really really good and then after you know feasting and eating like a beast we went out for a night outing we went to lost and found and i felt like i was back kind of in miami at the age of 21 <laughs> why did everyone look so freaking young i don't know why everyone looks so young but everyone looked freaking young i don't know why but anywho the workers what what do they do in these places to like what's their hiring process because the workers were so freaking hot i literally refreshed my eyesight like these guys were so good looking <laughs> these like not bodyguards these like security guards they were so good looking um so we were having the worst time of our lives in there me and my friends oh i didn't mention i did go with a friend i didn't go on this trip by myself um so shout out to my girl kathy um so yeah we were having the worst fucking time in this place because it was just so packed not having such a great time with the meet me a little bit of friends this group of guys they were they're all right they're all right um little <laughs> i was gonna say they were no, they were nice. They were nice peeps, nice people. Uh, but obviously, if we weren't, we weren't really like paying attention to them, or like we didn't want to dance or anything. So they kicked us the curve, and we were out there on our own. Um, and then as soon as we were about to leave, the security in front of like the VIP section, he like called us over, and he literally saved the day because we were about to leave. And he was freaking good looking, and it was you know. We did a little chat chat back and forth so it was just nice interaction to end my night and and then yeah so we made it to a little vip section and then we made some friends at a vip table every time we said we were from miami they're like oh my god you're from miami oh my god i love that place they're like what are you doing here <laughs> they would always just ask us what are you doing here why would he come to north carolina charlotte if you're from miami why would you do that well we want to explore a different scenery you know we want to take a trip we want to travel we want to meet new people miami is always the same damn people same damn faces like it's nice to get away it's nice to enjoy nightlife somewhere else and that's what we were doing okay so yeah so then we were chilling there it was all good and eventually i was just tired and sleepy and we got the hell out it had been a long day like we were at the airport like six in the morning it was a lot it was a long day so we we're ready to go to bed knock out hotel sleep in hotel beds are like the best the best freaking sleep like i don't know what's the pillow the comforter i don't know what it is but it's just the best freaking sleep and i was looking forward to that so there we go we went to bed all right so the next day on saturday we went to wine tasting we went to Childress Childress wines it was an hour away from charlotte so it was in another town and i forgot the name of the town right now but it was really really pretty and i finally got to see some like vines and grapes last time we went to vineyard i think it was like dried out didn't see no damn grapes but this time around we did or i did at least and it was really pretty the wine was delicious and i'm not a wine person but it was delicious i did get the i got one that's like blackberry something i like fruity drinks so that's the one i got and it was just delicious if it would have fit in my luggage i would have taken a bottle but it did not fit in my luggage that's i guess as a pro of carrying a lot in your luggage you don't take stuff back home that doesn't serve you well <laughs> that's the way we gotta see it good times good vibes did my photo shoot took my tripod it was it was a good time and then at night we had well kind of like not night night like afternoonish. um we had a dinner at stoke charlotte it was inside of a hotel we just needed something like quick and fast because we had to get ready for the concert zach brown band so we just had dinner there the food was really good and then and then at night we went to the zach brown band concert 
it was fun like i mentioned in the beginning of this video it was so many people so many freaking people it was at the pnc music pavilion such a nice place to have a concert like it was a very nice venue it's obviously in the outside but like it was a huge like a huge open auditorium if that makes sense it was really neat and we ended up leaving the concert a little bit early because it was just so many people that we were scared of getting like stuck in traffic so we dipped early and after that after the concert we went back to the hotel we changed and then we decided to give the nightlife another go um we really didn't know where to where to exactly go we didn't want to go to the same place we went on friday we wanted to try something different and you know this is where it would have come in handy if we knew like places of where to go oh my god i forgot to tell you guys something that i did that friday damn friday was a long day but i'll go back to that okay so we're still on saturday so then we went to a bar that is 25 and over did you guys hear that right 25 and over the last time i heard of a club like 25 and over was like in freaking spain and europe never i have never heard of that here in the united states or florida or miami 25 and over not even freaking vegas <laughs> well 25 and over i repeat again we were you know my mind was like oh, there's gonna be you know guys in you know our age range like it's gonna be cool vibes we walk in there and it was just a freaking old people that appeared like they just got out of their work like they just you know happy hour after work <laughs> it was not the vibe it was definitely not the vibe the music was not the vibe it was like a tight space like it was just not the vibe so we dipped and then there was like a cool brewery next to the place and it was kind of like an arcade brewery type of vibe you could bowl you could play bowling you could do arcade games it's like different things in one it was a really cool spot i like the concept of it all and then we just had a drink there and just sat down did some people watching love to people watch and then this guy with his friends they were younger than us just started talking to us and like getting to know each other back and forth whatever and then i was just tired of small talk and i was uh, like i gave my friend the signal like you know let's go to bed let's go home so that's exactly what we did there was a food truck outside of mexican food so we devoured we ordered quesadillas nachos we just ordered a lot took it home to our hotel devoured that shit and went to sleep perfect it, amazing like it was just on a stomach it was great it was great couldn't have asked for a better night it was great <laughs> all right so let me go back to friday so friday before the night outing and all of that good stuff and before dinner at fahrenheit we actually went to a brewery so there's so many breweries in charlotte north carolina so many breweries and we went to one that they have we're having like a little Oktoberfest kind of um event so we had a drink there just people watch love Oktoberfest. it's definitely a freaking vibe so that's what we did all right so now to sunday so sunday was the day we were leaving but our flight was like at six so whatever in the morning we had some time to kill um we just had brave breakfast at the famous toastery normal basic breakfast that you have like you know american breakfast place and then we drove around a fancy neighborhood i absolutely love doing this i don't know why <laughs> i think it's so pretty especially like in like other states like the houses and the construction or architecture is just so nice and different from what you're used to seeing in freaking florida let's say um so yeah that was pretty neat i'll put some videos here of some houses that i saw and we came across another park that is very well known in charlotte freedom park and it was so beautiful i took some pictures the weather was just super nice because it wasn't that sunny it was kind of like cloudy but like good not cloudy depressing and like it was kind of um there was a lot of wind like it was windy breezy like it was just a nice comfortable environment to walk around and enjoy the day and yeah freedom park was so beautiful really really pretty and then we went to the airport and did we eat before that we actually did not after breakfast we didn't eat again we just ate at the airport and boom we were back home in one piece it was a super nice little getaway i really needed that i hadn't been i don't think i've been in a freaking airplane this year so it was like nice to take on a flight even though i don't like heights and i scream when the plane's about to take off but it's all good i'll i'll pull through <laughs> i can do it 
Um, but yeah, it was nice to take a little trip. It was a really cool city. I would go again. I, I, I enjoyed the city. It was nice. Um, I was really looking for like a live music venue, like kind of Nash. I don't for some reason I wanted like Nashville vibes in Charlotte. Didn't find it. If there is, let me know. So one day if I go back, I can explore it. But that's kind of the vibe that I was looking for too. Like listen to live music. Doesn't have to be country. It could be rock. I freaking love rock. And just, you know, just vibe. I was looking for that, but I couldn't find it. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you get the opportunity to visit charlotte do it go for a weekend three days is perfect two nights three days i think that's what it was that's the perfect amount um and then yeah so that's all i got for you guys today don't forget to subscribe like follow me on tiktok and i will see you guys next time bye